current law on establishing duty of care derives from the case of Robinson. Here's what the case of Robinson did. Firstly, it reaffirmed that three-stage test in Caparo is not applicable to all negligence claims in order to establish duty of care. Secondly, it established that where there is a novel case in which the existing authorities do not provide an answer on whether a duty of care exists or not, the courts must develop the law incrementally and by analogy with established authorities. The courts should determine what the legally significant features of the previously decided cases are, so as to see whether any of these features are present in the novel type of case before them. They will also have to consider whether there are any new and significant features in the case before them, which tend to suggest that there should or should not be a duty of care. The legally significant features of any particular situation vary from case to case, but include things such as whether damage of the relevant type to a person like the claimant was reasonably foreseeable. This pullback from the application of Caparo test certainly will have instant effect on the approach of hearing tort law cases, and this is the approach you should use in your essay and problem questions on duty of care as well.